Hi guys, it's Sandy P. Um, I just want to come on here real quick. I know I look awful. I just got done taking a bath, a bubble bath, got my hair up in a braid, then in a bun, got my pajamas on. Um, lighting is awful. Let's see if I can figure this out. But I just want to come on here and tell you guys some news. I'm sorry if this is like really, oh, maybe there's light there. I don't know. I haven't figured this out yet. Um, you know, using this phone is fun again. But, um, let me see if I can figure out a better way to do this. If I come over closer, come closer to the light. Let's see if that works. Um, ha ha ha. Okay, we'll do it right here. Okay. I've talked to you guys and told you how um, we get our meals from the Joy Bus Club. Joy Bus, not club, but the Joy Bus. And they provide the meals for a cancer patient who's currently undergoing treatment. And I told you how an invitation was extended to us for a benefit they're having and that they're going to honor um, the Diamondbacks president and CEO, Derek Hall, who Frank is a huge baseball fan. So, and him and Derek are Facebook friends. And when he sees Derek at the ballpark, Derek goes out of his way to say hi to him, which I think is so utterly cool. Well, got an email tonight from Megan, who's our connection person. And um, she asked me, she said that they wanted to know if Frank wanted to be the one to present the award to Derek. OMG. Frank has had probably the crappiest two weeks of his entire life. Uh, never mind. He spent 10 days in a coma after a stroke, so no, no. But chemo has been kicking his ass, his butt, and then with losing Wrigley, and then, okay, and then me. With Harper chewing up everything imaginable, me not having a computer or a phone charger that works or a bicycle that I can ride now because of that little beast. I love him, though. Um, this was, like, incredible. When I asked Frank, he started practicing a speech. It was so sweet. Um, one thing I did ask, I asked her what the dress code was. It is dressy. She sent some pictures. Um, some of the ladies are wearing black dresses. Not all of them are. Um, the guys have on pants and jackets and ties and stuff. She told us if we didn't feel comfortable being all dressed up, that was okay because she didn't want to make us feel uncomfortable. Well, I'm sure that they will fudge the dress code a bit for Frank considering he'll be in a wheelchair and everything else going on. So I'm looking to get him just some like slacks, um, dark colored slacks, um, Hopefully with no zipper, no button, because he can't really do those. And I hope they let him wear his Crocs, because those are the shoes he wears. Um, and then I just want to get him, like, a dress shirt. Um, we we're talking about maybe blue, not white. I don't know if I'm going to do a button-up one, because I can help him with the buttons. Um, I know, that's what I would find for him. For me, I have um, someone I used to babysit for back in Maryland. He's now grown up. Married, has two kids. His wife sells LuLaRoe. So I contacted her to find out if they have anything that's, you know, dressier through LuLaRoe. And also tomorrow I'm going to run out to um, Walmart, see if I can find anything possibly there. You know, maybe for him. I'm going to go to Goodwill. We have savers. going to go to consignment marts and stuff. I also have to get shoes. I live in flip-flops. Um, but anyway, with all this, I mean, it's all great news, except the fact that we have to buy clothes. A friend suggested that we start up a fund to buy us clothes. And she was just joking about it. And then she said, no, really do it. So, no pressure on anybody. I am just going to put a link on in the information for our PayPal account, which goes through Frank's name. And then through, um, if you have Facebook, Facebook Messenger, you can um, send through there too. And that would be through me. Um, I'm going to put those on there, you know, just in case. We have a GoFundMe, but this isn't a GoFundMe type thing. Um, but I'm going to put those two links. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on on where we could get good clothes, I'm, you know, I, I'm going to go for the cheap because this is something that we've only been one place before that had a dress code. Um, I had I had a really nice dress, and um, I don't have it anymore, though. And Frank was able to wear, like, I've seen, I said it before, like, windbreaker-type pants and then a long-sleeve polo shirt, which I could probably do for him today, this time, too. 
thing is, he's lost so much weight because of the cancer that his old clothes don't fit him anymore. So, I just wanted to come on and say that it's way past my bedtime. But we were watching the Nationals win tonight. And Daniel Hudson, who's Frank's favorite player, got to save again. So, y'all take care, and I'll see you later. Bye.